we will be learning RL circuits in this lecture. Recall that the resistance is a measure of opposition to the current. Inductance of inductor can be interpreted as a measure of opposition to the rate of change in the current. So inductor tends to steady the current. As the circuit is completed, the current began to increase, but the inductor produced an EMF. We can call it the back EMF that opposes the increase in current. Therefore, the current doesn't change from zero to its maximal value instantaneously. A resistor and the inductor connected in series, we would call it RL circuit. Suppose the switch is closed at t equals zero. The current in the circuit begins to increase and the back EMF is induced in the inductor. Apply Kirchhoff's loop rule to calculate the current in the circuit. We find out the current as a function of time is given by this equation. Current equals battery EMF divided by resistance, one minus exponential to the power of R times T over L. Just like RC circuit, Remember the RC circuit, the time dependence is given by exponential minus T over R times C, and we define that R times C to be time constant for RC circuit. We can do the same thing. We can define it to be exponential minus T over tau for RL circuit. Compare this equation to the previous equation we found tau equals L over R. We call L over R is the time constant for RL circuit. When the switch is closed, the current increase to its equilibrium value epsilon divided by R following this exponential function. When the current reaches its maximum, the rate of change and the back EMF are zero. The time constant tau for an RL circuit is the time required for the current in the circuit to reach 63.2% of its final value. 